Welcome back to another episode of Sounds of the Underground. Once again, I am your host, Johnny Zirkel, here at PA Rehearsal Studios. We have a great lineup tonight, so get ready, guys, because here we go. watch the haunt perform now we are going to talk with the band and learn a little bit about them and probably go off the rails with some stuff that doesn't actually matter why don't you guys introduce yourselves to the people watching hi i'm maximilian haunt i'm anastasia haunt i'm nat smallish i'm nick i play drums all right guys so we just saw you perform one of your songs is it a newer song it is it's off of our most uh recent ep called social intercourse nice so tell us a little bit about the song tell us the 
the premise of it, how you kind of came up with it. So the song is called Love You Better. We wrote the instrumentals when we went out to record the Social Intercourse EP with Matt Good in uh, Arizona. Yeah, it's just about not being able to, like, love someone as much as they love you. This is a true story. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, guy. Sorry, Whoever guy. it was. Does he know? Um... Yeah, I send most of my exes their songs, yeah. Do you really? <laughs> I do. What do you guys have going on coming up? I know we kind of talked briefly about touring, things like that. You know, obviously that's getting back into the swing of things. So we just recently uh, did a show around our hometown. We were opening for poor Stacy. Her mom's hot, but continue. <laughs> Stacy's a guy. <laughs> His mom's hot. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for being on the show. But why don't you tell them the best place they can find you and if they can get in touch with you or anything like that. Yes, I am most active on Instagram, and it is at We Are The Haunt. Same on Facebook and Facebook, Twitter. Twitter, YouTube. All right, thank you so much for being on the show. It was great having you guys. Thank you so much for having us. We look forward to seeing what the future has in store for you. Thank you so much. When you put a microphone in front of you, it doesn't just hear you, it hears the room around you. And sometimes that can be great. For example, if you're in a room like this. But sometimes you want a closer sound, a more intimate sound. Sometimes you don't want to hear your room. And that's why we invented the reflection filter. Say hello to Spark, the new smart app and guitar amp that jam along with you using intelligent technology. Plug in and you'll be playing a song and jamming with amazing tone in minutes. It's the new way to play and jam. Spark is the world's first amp that gives you the tools to stream millions of songs from Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, and more. to Shikari. Unfortunately, we're stuck here in the UK at the moment, so we couldn't film this in person, but here is an exclusive performance of our song, The Great Unknown, filmed in our hometown of St. Albans. Is this a new beginning? Or are we close to the end? Is this a new beginning? 
Turn it on, turn it up, feel the power of PB. For over 55 years, musicians have counted on PB signature sound and legendary reliability. From your first amp or your arena tour mega stack, PB has the gear you need to maximize your performance. guys so i'm here right now with crossing eyes and dotting t's you just saw them perform how are you guys doing guys thank you so much for being on the show uh first off let's just introduce yourselves to the people who are watching tell us who you are what you do and then your band what are you about all right thank you for having us on uh i'm matt musarino i'm the lead singer and rhythm guitar uh, i'm oliver callis and i play bass i'm matt i'm the drummer I'm Zoe. I play guitar. Nice, guys. So um, I guess first things first, 
Let's tell people about the song you guys just played. So it's called Regret Stained Memories. Um, that's the title. And it's basically in the broadest form um, about not telling or not living your life the way other people want you to live. And then, yeah, it's also, there's also just some, you know, short things, you know, the, do you know who you want to be type stuff. Um, you know, really just saying, hey, are you really just actually who you are? Or are you who you are on, you know, social media? And are you fake? Are you a real person? Are you, you know, actually who you say you are? But then it's also just completely about living the way you want to live. You're fitting a record's worth of content into one oh. song. So you guys had recently released a new EP. Tell us a little bit about that, you know, so people can check it out. Yeah, so the EP was basically originally motivated by the death of my um, cousin and my best friend. He was 21. He passed away from cancer. Um, so RIP Luke, um, I love you. And he was literally my brother. So that was what sparked just the original making of the EP. And all the songs are basically about, you know, death, the inevitability of death, um, anxiety, depression, not feeling wanted. That's what I like to, to sing about is my emotions, and that's what I like to put down lyrically. Probably the most important thing of this is telling people where they can find you. So you can find us on Spotify, Apple, everything, literally everything but Bandcamp, uh, at Crossing Eyes, Dotting T's, I apostrophe S, T apostrophe S. Thank you so much for being on the show. We'll definitely keep up with everything you have going on, you know, following along with the new record, things like that. Yeah. Definitely keep us posted. And you guys, that is Crossing Eyes, Dotting T's here on Sounds of the Underground. Stay tuned. We have plenty more music coming up after this. While filming Sounds of the Underground, I also got to work on a lot of other really cool projects. One of those projects is my recent song, Paradise, which features Say We Can Fly. Paradise has to do with the much darker side of Hollywood that a lot of people don't see. I'm going to play you a teaser of that video right now, and if you like it, be sure to check out the full music video on YouTube and stream the song on Spotify and anywhere else you can stream music. If you like what you just saw, be sure to watch the full music video for Paradise on YouTube. And don't forget to stream it on Spotify as well as anywhere else you can listen to music. to 
going johnny good to see you again man it is going well yeah. tons of tour dates coming up but things keep having to be pushed back how has that been either a struggle or you know some bands have benefited from more music being able to come out what's that been like for jumpsuit thanks for asking yeah because i'm right in the middle of that right now and uh it's just as a manager it's been a nightmare but as a band member not too bad um you know always getting to stay home with your kids is we got three dads in the band is never a bad thing. So we do, it's always appreciated and it's a huge blessing. I mean, I thank God all the time for the, every day I get with Wolfgang, even when I'm on the road, when I come home. So naturally there's that gratitude, but then when on the business side of things, it's a total nightmare. I mean, so as soon as you book something, it's canceled. And as you know, Johnny, cause we have wildfires project book with us in December, we're still bringing over previous commitments from the previous year yeah. and that's, that's complicated things as well. So it's like now some of the stuff that's, that's now booked this year is going to be a previous commitment for 2022. Now behind you, I believe this just happened, the platinum record there. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch right coming. So that's kind of like my first, uh, where I think I want to put them. So, uh, luckily, you know, like I said, we've been blessed, man. So this whole wall is going to be full. So I wanted to test one up there. Back when I was in college, you guys released Teller High Water, and I vaguely remember you guys did like a series of music videos, like breaking into a building or something like that. Living the violent lifestyle will end in violence. That's the moral yeah. of the trilogy. And we also wanted to just try out a trilogy in general because we were free. Yeah, from you're like Star Wars. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, you know, we were free from the label and uh, we had all of our own money um, because we weren't dropped. So it's not like we were all instantly broke all of a sudden. That's the other story with the, with the dropped band. So um, just to circle back to that, we had the opportunity and we had the means. And uh, we want, well, I love Star Wars. Trilogies were a thing. <laughs> I wanted to give it a swing. And you know what? All of our fans loved it. You can say what you want about it. It is a little bit gory, but it's not real. I assure you that it's catch up and everybody's live. And I'm just into film and I don't care what people think. If a good, good guy band tries to make an aggressive film to compete with the bad people out there who are making aggressive films, that's okay. Like yeah. that's called fighting fire with fire. So we don't have any regrets at all about making that trilogy. As a matter of fact, I, I wish we would have stepped it up a little bit more with the intensity, um, but that's all the budget we had. I literally wanted like decapitated heads. Like, I, <laughs> I mean, I that's had, not even the first aggressiveness. I mean, face down is pretty aggressive too, in the right? sense, you know, right. especially for the time being. Thank you. You know, now if someone showed that it would be kind of like Marilyn Manson's not shock rock anymore, but back then it was a little different. 
Thank you. No, I agree. And uh, I agree with uh, Manson as well. And, you know, it's um, the new shock rock is so much more intense. Thank you so much, Ronnie, for being on the show once again. Hopefully touring picks back up soon and we will be able to get together in person. But for now, thank you. And I wish you the best of luck in figuring everything out. Thank you very much, Johnny. We are still touring. We're just moving a lot of dates around. Check out the red jumpsuit apparatus.com. And we will definitely hopefully see you with Johnny in the Waffle House Project in December in California. Awesome. Thank you again. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Sounds of the Underground. Like I said earlier, we have so much fun stuff planned this season. So please join us next week and we will see you then.